you, you know what gluten is, right? Yes. Like it's the structure that forms when you work a wheat dough. Well, I wouldn't have explained it like that, but yeah. See, this is why I have you. <laughs> chef, did you just call me Chef? If you want the biceps, go for it, yeah. Well, hello, and welcome to the Wolf Blast Walk Off. My name is Angelique, and well, you can call me a radio personality, but also a part time chef. <laughs> And you are? And my name is Wai Leong. I'm the chef owner of Restaurant Ibit. So now we are being pitted against each other in this walk-off by Wolf Blast to see who does better and we all know who will win. But um, okay, anyway, what are you going to be You mean making? you, right? Yes, that's what I meant. What <laughs> okay. are you going to be making? Um, I'm doing a Xi'an Spice Piang Piang Noodle. Uh, that's basically the sound it makes when you're stretching it. But I'm going to do it a little bit more finicky way. I'm actually going to roll it out because that gives a better texture. I've never done handmade noodles. I've done handmade pasta. But I'm, I'm very keen to find out how that's done. I'm going to be making vegan dumplings with a tofu and mushroom stuffing. And trust me, when you try these, you won't know they're meatless. But that's also another reason why we're here. Well, we are doing Asian-inspired yeah. dishes because the Wolf Blast walk-off, it's all about pairing Asian dishes with their wines. And the wine that we got is the Shiraz from Barossa Valley. So I think, enough talk. Let's open it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. want to do it? Or yeah, you want me to do it? I, well, sure. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it. All right. Okay. See, this is why I have you. Okay, pouring and, I can do. Okay, all, all right. right. <laughs> and it finishes off with smooth and very velvety tannins. When someone says tannin or tannic, um, don't be fooled, it's not a fancy word. Just think of when you're drinking tea and you get that sort of like, you thank you, dry, chalky sensation on the palate, on your tongue. Um, in a local context, the word is siap. Siap? Yeah, I mean, siap. when you drink a, a very bitter tea and it goes, mm, okay. You know, with this, you won't get that because, like I said, when the tannins are described as velvety and smooth, it has a nice sensation at, at, at the rear of the palate. Oh, to a great walk off. To a great walk off. Mm, my dumplings are going to go perfectly with this. Yeah. yeah perfect. Well, I need to get um, the dough ready for the noodles. Okay. So I'm going to scale the ingredients first. Okay. And you will be chopping up uh, the vegetables for your Yes. Okay, can. Let's yeah. go. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so just oyster mushrooms, largely chopped. You see, I'm hopeless. Like. You need to follow your recipe. I, I need to follow the recipes. Okay. Like, in, in, in kitchens, do you ever wing things in kitchens? Yeah, yes, you do. Like when you adjust sauces, when you adjust spices, yeah. you have to use your senses. But yeah. when it comes to doughs... Um, it has to be accurate. Yeah, it's it, like baking, isn't it? Yes. So what's your recipe for the noodles? So the recipe for the noodles is literally flour, water, salt. Flour, water and salt, yeah. that's it? That's it. So it's vegan? Yeah, it is. Awesome. It's dastardly simple. So do you have any rules when it comes to pairing wine with Asian food? Not yeah, right. there was a very famous pairing by um, an American chef uh, back, back when he was a famous chef on the west coast and he paired a beautiful fillet of beef mm. with a dessert wine. Oh. And that like was one of like, you know, the most legendary like pairings. It's just one of those things. Like it's it's it really depends yeah. on the moment and it's how you look at it. Yeah. Alright, so now I'm gonna run away for a while while I Bye. <laughs> while I mix the dough. I'm gonna just leave it for a while because this dough requires uh, you to build gluten. doing with my tofu is that I've got it wrapped up in a towel, just a normal uh, tea towel. And um, what that does is it removes as much moisture from the tofu as possible so that when you cook, you don't get all that water coming out of the tofu because you don't want wet dumplings. If uh, what you can also do is after removing the moisture, you can also freeze the tofu uh, for about, I think, an hour. And then... Uh, then the water comes out. Um, it does, so that's why you put it in a towel again. Mm -hmm. And then once you uh, cook it, it's almost like chicken. So question, yeah. if I don't have a stand mixer like that, would I be able to do it by hand? You can do it by hand, but I mean, if you it's really, tedious. if you want the biceps, go for it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to finely mince the garlic here. And it's good, it's important to take your time with this, make sure that you get even pieces. Because what we're going to do first is that while we're doing the dough, we're going to be making an infused oil. 
Spring onion wise, we're looking for quite a fair bit. Funny slice of spring onions. Okay, so we've got garlic and spring onion inside. We are now gonna add uh, the other flavorings. So I've got the chili flake inside already. It's a dry chili flake. The next thing I'm gonna add is a Siam spice. This is my restaurant's uh, own blend of cumin, Szechuan peppercorns, coriander seed, fennel seed. So with all cooking, you need to balance your flavor. Whether it's you're cooking savory dish, you need to add sugar or acid to balance flavor out, or whether you're doing dessert and you add a little bit of salt to kind of bring balance. Balance is always important. And with the tofu, it doesn't matter how fine you mash it in the bowl because you can always do the same thing in the frying pan. So what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to fry the garlic and the ginger in some sesame, some dark soy, some Chinese five spice and also some sugar. Uh, and, and then put the mushrooms in, the tofu in, the carrots in and basically fry the filling of the dumplings. Oh, it smells good already. Right. See how, how, how it kind of forms like a nice caramel almost. And that was just the sesame oil. The <laughs> right? Sesame. It's the power and aroma of sesame oil. Yes. When people put truffle oil on fries, I'm like, why? Sesame oil is Asia's truffle oil. If you think, and That's it's a nice and it, way of putting it. And rather than make it out of chemicals, sesame oil is legit. It's real. You know, yeah. It's pressed from sesame seeds. But it's all about those truffle fries, right? Every, everyone and their dog is making truffle fries. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna, we've done all the dry ingredients. We're gonna, now gonna add the liquids, right? So, simple, simple. Here I'm using a nice uh, Spanish olive oil. Um, Chin Kiang vinegar or black Chinese vinegar and toasted sesame oil. Ah, uh, there you go. So, I'm gonna give it a quick stir and I'm gonna throw it onto the fire. I wanna see whether like, you know, can I trust you with, my, my, with an infused oil? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. we, we only just met. So. <laughs> How do you tell if you formed enough gluten? So, you can do a stretch test or you can also do a window pane test. A window pane test? What? Yeah. Throw it against a window pane? Don't give me <laughs> ideas. <It's> <laughs> okay, so. Oh, the stretching that you spoke yeah. about earlier. So, right, okay. you're looking at this now, it's pliable, you yeah. know, it can stretch, but you really want to check because um, while it's a bit of a no no to develop too much gluten in big products like cakes and breads, with noodles, you do need that gluten. So you've got your dough here, that it. You're just gonna stretch. Imagine making like a mini pizza. So now I know that this is ready, I'm going to separate it into my portions and I'm gonna leave it in oil so that it doesn't form a skin. I'm gonna use a bent scraper. I'll just keep it rough. Do a quick fold. Roll flat with my, with my palm. And then fold it on itself. Sides, top and bottom. So now, it's, I'm just going to lightly oil, it's just so that it doesn't form a skin. We're going to leave it to rest and then we'll pray that it can rest enough Good that break. I can roll them out. We're going to do some raw onion. Case in point, I learned this trick when I used to work at a ramen shop. Oh, okay. And some ramen dishes, they take minced onion yep. and they wash it under running water literally for like an hour. So you're kind of removing, what did you say? A layer of it. Yeah, like the, the parts of it that may not be so nice. Mm. It's like what coffee does to you in the morning or wine does to you when you're cooking. <laughs> Cheers that. I don't really get to drink while cooking, you know, when I work in, uh, when I'm at work. And the founder was actually named Wolf Plus. I oh. would think Wolf is Wolfgang, right? I'm assuming. See, Makes I learn something new every day. <laughs> His name, name is very German, isn't it? Yeah, but it's Australian, Australian it's wine. Australian right? wine, yeah. Because the Barossa Valley was, uh, there was a lot of uh, German settlers there, right? Yeah. I'm going to start plating up. You? Sure, You're yeah. I've there, got right? my plates here. I'm about okay. there just waiting for these to be done. Right. right. And then we top off with the salt. Okay. And so I just have to use like. Old faithful. Uh, Your you know, hands. Yes. A bit of uh, mom's crispy shallot, which I took before I left the house. I'm wondering where it is right Your now. Your mom deep fried this? Yeah, man. We, wow. we, like, my mom cooks uh, a lot. So that's kind of where the love came from. Okay. Toasted sesame seeds. Some toasted peanut, just a bit of crunch. Okay, I'm not a plater, but I thought mm -hmm. maybe. Can we put yours on top of mine? And maybe serve this on the side. Can. Right? And you put it on, on this. So there uh, you go, 
know, now my plate looks beautiful. <laughs> you can put a glass yeah. of wine on that. And it doesn't look so lonely. <laughs> Well, we've done all the work. I think we deserve to try this food at least. What do you think? Can we do it? Bon appetit. What do we say in Chinese? I don't know. I don't know. What do we so, say? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm Cantonese, so just chick fat, chick fat, chick fat. Chick fat, chick fat, okay. Just eat, like, shut up and eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my, my, my folks would say to me. <laughs> oh, wow. Do you use a bit of? Salt. Salt, really? For me, yeah. No, it's good for me. You okay? Yeah. Mm. It's spicy. You said you can take spice, so. I love my spices. The true test is the wine. Well, this has got real flavour. And when you take a wine, it's real. Can the wine stand up to it? It doesn't take away from anything. In fact, the wine kind of like... Mellow it out a bit, mellow, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mellow yeah. it out and then you can go back for another bite. And that's what I'm going to do. Mm. Okay, let's try that again. The funny thing is that these two dishes, they really don't look like they're competing against each other. They look like they're complementary dishes. I think, it's a, <laughs> I think it's more of a collaborative effort than a competition between you and I. Mm. But it goes with the... With the um, wine as well. What I usually do is I just use red chili party, but this time I toned it down and use some green. You know, when you are pairing Asian food yeah. with wine, it's more of a challenge, right? Because if you're doing the traditional sort of like oh, fish and white wine and mm. red meat and red... You know, the protein side the protein of it, The protein side of dishes with that come from an Asian heritage, more spice, more punch, more aroma. You really have to find that flavour. Yeah. Okay, let's finish this off and then we are going to say goodbye to you and hope you enjoyed this Wolf Blast walk-off. And you might as well just crown us the winners now. It's, it's done. We're gonna finish the wine. Cheers, chef. And we're gonna finish the wine. I, I just love how much like, confidence you have. <laughs> Cheers. Bye, guys. Here's that. See, this is why I have you. Chef, you just call me chef. If you want the biceps, go for it, yeah.